Today's video is sponsored by Tri Treats. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Hey, what's up? Although it's awesome to have them in the video here, this is not the collaboration that we hinted at before, but hopefully we'll have something with these guys coming pretty soon as well. All right, so we have a package here that is a very peculiar shape, and we were gonna just check it out, but we decided that we needed to film it. And Ryan and Jess are here. Yo, what's up? Even though and Jess is over there. Yeah, I'm over even here. though Ryan does not work today. <laughs> man, I was gonna just be like, I wanted to like come in like when you opened it and be like, oh man, that's cool. Oh shit, I'm gonna <laughs> <It's> like, hey, <laughs> this is that Walgreens photo. <laughs> you see yellow. Need help. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh man. Oh! oh. oh. What? Dang. Holy Who's crap. <laughs> what up peeps? I'm I am Alfredo, an artist from Chicago and longtime viewer of your YouTube channel. Have been wanting to send you guys some art for a while now as a thank you for all the years of entertainment. So hopefully you all like the enclosed poster I made. Keep up keep up all the great work and really wish to make it out there someday. All the best, Alfredo. P.S. Wu Tang forever. <laughs> yeah. And then he's got <laughs> he's got his Instagram there. Looks like an art one and a video game one. Nice. So Very you can cool. check that out. Yeah, you guys want to see cool. what he said? Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that! <laughs> oh my god! That is so freaking cool! That is awesome! That is just, it is sick! Oh man! Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, it we looks definitely, so good. We definitely have to frame this and put it up in the store somewhere. Yeah. Thank you, Alfredo. This is amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Try Treats. They sent us another box here, and this time we got a box from South Korea. I got a marguerite cookie. It's marguerite cookie with parents' love. Feel this love with soft cookie. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go, that's what it says. But uh, here's the little cookie. Almost looks like a little cook, like bread loaf kind of thing. <laughs> mm, no crunch. It's crumbly, little dry cookie. Is it good? Not bad. Is it sweet? A little sweet. It like, almost looks like a cracker. <laughs> like a nice little cookie. Kyle, try this snack. All right. Try this treat, I should say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had no idea what was in there. Oh, it's just like waffle cone. Oh. Like pieces of a waffle cone. Yeah, it's really good. Tastes just like a waffle cone. <laughs> Try Treats has sent us one box in the past and we really had a lot of fun opening it and trying all of these snacks. And so they reached back out and asked if we wanted to do it again. And of course we said yes. So uh, there will be a link in the top of the description down below. There should also be a pinned comment to go to the Try Treats website if you're interested in checking it out and getting a box. And you can use code SICKCOOPER at checkout for 15% off your first purchase. So once again, thank you to Try Treats for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys? My staff pick for today is Monster Rancher 2 for the PlayStation 1. Um, I'm picking this one because I've never played the first one and I've put a lot of hours into this one. The point of the game is you inherit a ranch and you use it to raise monsters. These monsters can come from either in the game there's a marketplace to get them from or you can use any CD you own, not DVDs because that was a little too, that was a little later than the PlayStation 1. But any music CD or any other PlayStation 1 game you could use to summon monsters. Um, it depends on how far along in the game you are b before you can. it'll tell you that you can summon that monster. But you can train your monsters up and fight in these tournaments and raise your monster ta uh, tamer rank. And that'll let you raise uh, stronger monsters. So it, it all depends on how fast you want to go in the game. But you train every week. Um, like there's four weeks out of the month and you train them and they get slightly stronger every time you train them. And then that lets you prepare for these tournaments that happen. And there's also some adventure modes in there. And there's like a hundred something, maybe 200 something monsters that you can summon. There's combinations between different monster types. And it's really fun. It's kind of like Pokemon and Digimon combined. Um, it's a pretty unique battle system. 
Um, it's hard to explain, but you don't, you can look it up if you want. But I've put so many hours into this game, and it's really fun, and I really recommend it. Let's take a look at some trades from today so far, guys. So we have one game that's priced at a dollar here, Tony Hawk Shred, and then this whole stack here, these are all priced at $2.99. Just a lot of like filler titles here, some sports games, really common stuff. And then this big stack here is all $5 games. There's some pretty good stuff in here. Still some like filler titles, but you get like your Assassin's Creeds and Borderlands and Final Fantasy and Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that. And then it was too big to fit, so I also have this little stack here. These are also $5 a piece. And then we have the next stack. These are $8. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know at this point, but uh, we don't price any games at $3.99, for example. Our price points are one, three, five, eight, ten, and so on. So you're never gonna see a game at our store priced at $8.99. It's either gonna be $7.99 or $9.99. We do that for a few reasons, but the main one is just to make everything easy. And it also allows us to round down on a lot of games. So, you know, if Fable 3, for example, is like eight or nine dollars on price charts, we're gonna have it at $7.99 for the most part. So, and then these games here are uh, anything that was 13 bucks or higher. We have Batman, Brave and the Bold, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe, WWE 13, Burnout Revenge, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, Super Mario Galaxy, Shadow of the Colossus, another Mario Galaxy. Those are supposed to actually be the same price. <laughs> so I'll have to check what's going on there. Automotalista, Mario Galaxy 2, and Manhunt. All right, guys, so we also have a package here to open that okay. came from one of our distributors. It's a bunch of video games, a bunch of factory sealed stuff. And Ryan doesn't work today, but they came nope. in because there's a game in here that he wants. I need. He yeah. needs it. I, I need it. So we didn't only buy one game. We have a bunch oh here, but Heck yeah, we need more of these. If we're opening it to give Ryan his one game, we got to go through everything. We got 10 more copies of Pokemon Arceus. Yeah, there's a bunch here, and there's more in here. Yeah, we're completely out. We've been out for a while. Yeah, look at that. We have another game called, I think it's, I think it's Musings? Yeah, I think so. But we have five copies of this one. Bam. We also have, Ooh. there should be five of these in here. Uh, Cytus or Cytus Alpha. It's like a, it's in like a big box here, but there should be five of those as well. That's cool. Then we have <laughs> 24 copies of Ninja Gaiden 3 for the Wii U. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As you guys know, the prices on Wii U stuff has been going up and not necessarily this game, but um, this one is still re relatively cheap. So we could afford to get a bunch of copies and um, just have them in stock for a while. Yeah. So there's, I think there's two games in here that we got 24 copies each <laughs> of because they were so cheap. And when you get 24 copies, the price per copy drops. Ooh. That's why I got 24 of them. Ooh. So there's other games that I only got a few of, but, um, but two of the Wii U games, we did get 24 each. Another Switch game here, Mercenaries Saga Chronicles. We have five copies of that one. Oh, those are the other two. Two more of the that one. Awesome. <laughs> I think I was holding them upside down. Oh wait, one was upside down. And then we have five more copies of Hello Kitty Cruisers for the Wii U. Yeah, here's some more. <laughs> and we also have five copies of Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut. This is such an uncommon game. Like it's not that expensive, but we've only had that game traded in, I think twice ever. Got five copies of Burnswick Pro Bowling. Burnswick? Yeah. Or Brunswick? Yeah. So. This is also not an expensive game, but this is pretty hard to find for the Wii, for the Wii U. I think we've maybe had it only traded in a couple times as well. You, you should have showed that. Okay. We got <laughs> Amazing Spider Man 2. Five copies. Got Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Five copies, I think. Heck yeah. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, five copies. 
Aren't you guys so happy that you get Ryan today? <laughs> <laughs> now it's just, it wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> There's a bunch of these. Yeah, so 24 copies. 24 copies of the Cabela's, what is it? Dangerous Hunts 2003, 2013. 2013. What happened to this one though? That one, yeah. It's got a rip in it. No. What the heck? It probably the happened right there. Oh, there's yeah. a, the box got like a hole punched Ooh. in the side. Yeah, that's pretty So that's probably what happened right here. Well, at least it was just that. Yeah, there's <laughs> 20, 23 good copies. And then we have yeah. Wind Waker HD. Got five of those. Yeah. And I guess those. And then these are the last ones. There's only three copies of the one I want. Yep. And Ryan's taken one, so there's only going to be two. <laughs> oh, man. And that is Elden oh, Ring. Ring. Yeah, here's the other two copies. So we got three copies for PS5. And then five copies for PS5. Yeah. And Devin is also coming to get one tomorrow. <laughs> Which <laughs> he, version is he getting? He's getting the PS4 one. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys remember Devin was like, Dark Souls was his favorite game, so he's super stoked to play Elden Ring. And he texted me, he's like, are you getting them? And I was like, I guess, <laughs> if you want, we can. That's why I didn't get a ton of them because I didn't know if they were going to be like, you know, hot items, but it looks yeah. like, looks like all the reviews are pretty good. People are loving the game. It looks so good. It yeah. looks like Zelda mixed with Dark Souls. Like it looks amazing. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, so yeah. this game, this is the first time we've actually gotten a game before the release date because it doesn't come out till tomorrow. Mm. It comes out the day you're watching this video, but the videos go up a day late. I mean, you could show this if you want. Yeah, there's a sticker on the box that says Street Date 225 of 2022. Do not display or sell before Street Date. Doing so will result in severe penalties, which could potentially mean you ain't got your account anymore to buy yeah. wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're not going to do that. Um, yeah. So uh, I think 9 p.m. is the earliest that you can do anything with them because that is that's midnight east coast time so here on the west coast that's 9 p.m for us a lot of stores will do 9 p.m releases instead of midnight releases because then people on both coasts can play at the same time yeah. so ryan is going to be getting his copy of the game but he's not allowed to yeah. to, to pop it in the console till no, till 9 p.m <laughs> ryan's not going to risk our wholesale account to play a game a couple hours early it's already like no. 5 30 or something so yeah i don't have to wait long i'll just watch yeah. a movie or something <laughs> but if you guys are interested we do have two copies left for ps5 and we will have four copies left for ps4 and they should be on the website by the time you guys see this video yeah. all right so usually the stuff from japan that we get it sells like almost all that sells immediately but we ordered so much in those last shipments that we were actually able to put some stuff out on the shelf which is always cool because that way the, the local customers can actually see it and purchase it as well so we got the uh the box boy amiibo and then the e-reader cards yes super cool and these are in the card category on the website so you can check them out there yeah and then we also got the uh dragon quest sign controller and then the other ps2 controllers there oh yeah oh yeah and what else do we got i don't know i didn't put anything away we got the 3ds ps4 double pack right there <laughs> awesome super weird and then we i moved these uh the, the gba games back you can actually see the stuff in the front. We put some of the stuff out here. I think just the DS Pokemon typing adventure. Yeah. But you, you can see this stuff better now. Got some of the boxed Japanese Game Boy games. Those usually always yeah. sell even before we like yeah. get a chance to put them out. So all the stuff sells on the website. Because we, you know, you guys see the videos on the days that we're closed, and the stuff goes into the system usually Monday evening after we've closed. So, <laughs> local customers, I mean, local people do buy some of it on the website as well. Yeah. But it doesn't get to like physically hit the shelves. But it's always cool when it does. We have, obviously, these are not even on the website at all, but we have the consoles and stuff, the orange ones. Everyone says that they look yellow in the video, or not everyone, but at least one person said it. But that one I could see being yellow. I think the actual name was yellow, yeah. but that one's definitely orange. I mean, they both look orange, but that one's like really an orange color, not yellow. And then I put the, 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 the DS typing games all over the place because 
We got so many. We did sell one of the Hanshin Tigers yeah, uh, Neo the, Geos in store. Last sale of the day. Yeah. Pretty good last That sale. was a good last sale. That was 400 bucks. Yeah. He saw the picture we posted on our Facebook and he's like, he's like, do you still have it? I can come right now. <laughs> and we're like, yep, yeah, we have two of them. And he's like, on my way. <laughs> yeah, so so I, that was awesome. Uh, that was from one of our regulars. We have those coin pouches which are still here but we still have the coin those. pouches and some we, we've sold quite a few of these pokemon figures but we still have quite a bit left and we did sell that other uh magnet hook the, 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 the pikachu, pikachu one. one we still have that one you had that one at home on the back of your yeah. front door <laughs> but i put my my uh my keys on it so I don't forget them oh we also got all the gamecube games out here minus a bunch of them that already sold <laughs> but it's pretty cool to have like a whole little yeah. section for Japanese I like it. imports. And then we have, well, the Four Swords is in there. And then some of the stuff is not from this current, the current shipments we just got, but a lot of this is from Japan. And right up there, we got the treasure box for the, the Wii. That's the Wii you want to leave. The four is the 3DS on it. That one is up there. Kind of just put it in front of mm. Man. those little displays. But... Yeah, it's awesome. All right, well, there is one more thing that we needed to show the peeps. I guess they, I guess they can see. So we have a console here that, um, it's not like the rarest thing in the world, but we've never had it before, which is really, really cool. Anytime we get a new console we've never had, it's always, you know, it's always fun. And it's cool to show you guys as well. So we've actually had this for a little while, but we never put it in the system or anything because we didn't have a power cable for it. Uh, the person that we got it from said that it worked. They had a power cable, they just couldn't find it. And it's from a regular, so we trust them, of course. And we bought a, we had to buy an aftermarket power cable off eBay. Even the aftermarket power cable was $35, which is crazy. But we got it in, we were able to test it today. It works great. And that is the Twin Famicom, which is super awesome. This is made by Sharp even though it's a Nintendo console, which is interesting. The controllers are hardwired in, and then here's the third-party power cable, and then it just uses regular AV. But this is pretty cool because it plays the uh, plays the Famicom cartridges in here, and then it plays the disc games in here. So we actually don't have a disc game at the moment, so we couldn't test this portion of it, but we were able to test that. Um, but also, I, I was yeah. testing it, and it looks really good. We, we, we put it on the... Uh, that T HDTV over there, or just like the AV adapter thing, but it looks really good. Um, just plugged right in, so. Yeah, it's cool. cool. Um, it looks a little bit dirty, and we have attempted to clean it, and whatever that is, it's like a stain. It's not coming off. It looks better in person, though, too. The camera kind of makes it look Yeah, worse. the camera does make it look a lot worse. <laughs> but still, really, really cool. This is obviously a Japanese-exclusive console, and uh, it's just one we've never had in stock before. The first batch of trades that I showed you earlier was very organized and everything, and this one's going to be the complete opposite. I did not sort these by by price or even by console for the most part. So, we have Final Fantasy. This is a... I was looking over here making sure I wasn't showing someone's address. Um, Final Fantasy for PS3. End War. Crash 2, no manual. Crash Bash, this was loose, but we had a case of manual to complete it. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Castle in the Sky DVD, Frogger, Atari Anniversary Collection, or whatever it is, Anniversary Edition, Beavis and Butthead, uh, Season uh, Volume 1, sorry, Gremlins Steelbook Blu-ray, Child's Play 3 DVD, Beavis and Butthead Hard Cash DVD, Martial Arts Action Pack DVD, My Neighbor Totoro DVD, and a Japanese Transformer DVD, but it does have... Uh, subtitles in English. Then we have Crimson Skies, Assassin's Creed 3 for PS3 Steelbook, Halo multi Halo 2 multiplayer map pack, Burnout Revenge. Didn't we just show one of these earlier that was... Yeah, why is that one? Oh, this is 360. I see. This is original Xbox. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, Dishonored 2 Limited Edition, Halo 5 Guardians, Forza Horizon 2, NBA 2K11, NBA 2K12, Lost Planet 2, Destiny, Just Dance 2015, DJ Hero, Disney Sing It, Metal Gear Solid 4, 
Heavy Rain, MX vs. ATV Alive, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition, Mortal Kombat 10, We Happy Few, Assassin's Creed Unity, and Cyberpunk 2077. I heard that they just did like some massive update or something for it, so it's supposed to actually work now. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments. We have Final Fantasy VIII, Pokemon Sun, Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light, Silent Hill Disc Only, Spyro Ripto's Rage, Spyro the Dragon, Croc Legend of the Gobos, Astian Axe, Kirby's Adventure, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon X, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, Hyrule Warriors, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Justice League Blu-ray, Alien vs. Predator Double Feature, Fight Club 10th Anniversary, Scarface Gold Edition, Serenity, Green Lantern in a Steelbook, Nino Kuni for PS3 in a Steelbook, Fallout 3, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Special Edition, which also has a Steelbook in there. Then we have Mario Party 10 with the Amiibo. This was traded in disc only. We had all the rest of this to fully complete it. The Amiibo inside is factory sealed. The game obviously is opened. It's in poor condition because of this, this, and crease right there. But other than that, it's in really nice shape, and the Amiibo is sealed. We have pink and blue Wii Motion Plus remotes. We have a teal Game Boy Color. We have a fat Pikachu plush. This is from 1999. <laughs> and then we have uh, Wiley Country Club Golf, Wizards and Warriors, Mass Effect Andromeda, Enemy Territory Quake Wars. We have Madden 95 for the Game Gear. We have Star Wars Flight of the Falcon for GBA. And then for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, we have Shadowgate Classic, Pokemon Silver, Zelda Link's Awakening, Metroid 2, Castlevania Adventure, and Earthworm Jim. We've never had this game in stock before. And then N64, we have 007 GoldenEye, WCW Nitro, Arrow Fighters Assault, Army Men Air Combat, Rush 2 Extreme Racing, and Earthworm Jim 3D. Little poor condition there, but pretty uncommon game. Super cool to see. One more item here that was hiding from me when I filmed the trades earlier. We have the Street Fighter V Collector's Edition for the PS4. It came in without the game, but we actually had a copy. Whoever put this away didn't put it in the right way, but everything's in there. Adam wanted me to show you our soundtrack section. We added another shelf because we sold some of the vinyls. Yeah, we're out of stock on some of the records now, so we have more room for CDs, which we needed because we had a bunch to put out today. But... That is so many soundtracks. And then the Switch section's on the other side of the door. Super full. It is very full. We need more used games. This is the pre-owned side over here, and this is the new side here. Um, that Blair Witch game sold, by the way. We haven't pulled the order yet because it came in after we closed, but there's the Blair Witch right there. That sold. We also sold some of these soundtracks, actually. <laughs> uh, just saw an order for the Chrono Trigger one. And then someone else ordered the Mother soundtrack, which is in the back because it needed to be resurfaced. But pretty good. It's about that time, guys. We got to head out. So for the question of the day, we want to know, since this game just came out, well, it comes out tomorrow for us, but it's today if you're watching it. The day it goes up. Elden Ring. This is basically a Dark Souls game. And we want to know, number one, are you planning on playing it, or do you want to play it? Something along those lines. But also, if you're not, we want to know why, or we want to know if you enjoy Dark Souls-type games, because I know a lot of people love them, but a lot of people don't like them. They're insanely difficult, but some people are addicted to pain. Yeah. So we want to know. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you again tomorrow.